What's going on guys? So we have another boot for you. This one is another one from Ranch Road. Um, a beautiful one from Ranch Road. Uh, so you know I already own the Capistrano, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, calf skin boot. I, I wore that one a lot actually. And I remember um, getting um, a compliment from, I was, I was in Red Wing hanging out and someone, a customer came in and he was looking uh, at Red Wings and he looked at my boots like, Oh, I like those. What are those? <laughs> I was like, well, they, these aren't Red Wings. I was like, these are Ranch Road. I was like, these are... I really, really like the Capistrano. Um, I'll start off saying if you hear some knocking, my neighbor is getting... Uh, they're getting their kitchen um, redone. So if you're drilling or knocking, that's what that is. Um, New York living. Uh, yes, so... Today I'm wearing the Rios of Mercedes. Uh, this is the Roper in the uh, Chestnut Blackhawk. My house boots, I, you know, I'm always, uh, they're my house boots. And that's, I don't wear slippers, I wear house boots. <laughs> and um, maybe we, I can introduce you guys to, come here, let's see. Come here, this is uh, Grouper. Oh. This is Grouper. He is uh, a foster that we have. We had another uh, a little girl. Her name was Lily, so they were hanging out together. But Lily um, was adopted, and uh, we both miss her terribly. Yeah, her little play buddy. I know. I miss her too. But uh, Grouper is um, available for adoption at um, uh, Rescue City NYC. Uh, he's a very sweet boy. And, and he, he, as young as he is, he's already peeing um, on the pad. He's... he's uh, very, very smart, very sharp, very sharp dog. Full of spunk, that one. All right, so let's get into it. <clears throat> Another ranch road here. This one is called the Apache. All right, come on now. I love these guys on here. All right. And I love that ranch road comes with boot bags. I love that. You, know, you travel, you throw your boots in a bag and go. Look at these things. So this is a uh, cognac is what they're calling the leather here. And then this is the suede up top and with some beautiful stitching. Oh, dude, this is, this is what I'm talking about. I saw these online. I think I saw these on the ranch road social on their Instagram. And I immediately went to their, to the website and, um, ordered them. And, uh, yeah, here they are. They are stunning, man. Look at these. I love that. So like when, when we do the close up, you'll see the, the leather has some texture um, on it. And uh, wow. These are cool. Yeah, I'm very excited about these. I'm going to rock these in, uh, in the uh, summertime. Possibly with some natural selvage denim. Maybe roll them up so you can see, get a hint of this uh, suede with this beautiful, uh, wow, that's so cool. Um, yeah, let me look at the other one and see what's going on here. Yeah, the texture on the, the leather is really, really nice. And it's going to age beautifully. You're going to have some kind of like... Beautiful patina going on on here. Very, very nice. All right. Um, let's take a closer look at the Ranch Road Apache in Cognac. All right. So here is a closer look at the Ranch Road Apache in Cognac. So we have a full uh, grain leather on the vamp here. And then on uh, the shaft, we have the suede with this beautiful stitching um, on the uh, shaft. So uh, the boot is um, Goodyear welted, so you can uh, get a resole uh, on this bad boy. And it does have a steel shank for that you know, support to keep this boot nice and, and sturdy. And uh, it is um, cork filled in the footbed, so you know, as you wear it, uh, your the the footbed is going to form to your foot which is really nice and just adds to that comfort now uh, we have the leather outsole if you remember on the capistrano which is cool and you have these little rubber inlays in here for grip 
which I think is a really nice touch. And then you have a stacked uh, leather heel with that rubber cap on there <clears throat> for that impact. You know, when you're walking, you, uh, you have that uh, rubber on there for that extra comfort. And the boot height is 11 and a half um, inches. And then the, the circumference of the shaft is 15 inches. Um, and then the, the heel height is uh, uh, an inch and a half. So um, uh, with the, I, I believe this is very similar to the, the Capistrano build. Um, and the Capistrano for me uh, broke, once I broke it in was, it, it didn't take much uh, breaking in whatsoever because that, if you remember, is a calf skin, so it was really soft. Um, and I, I probably wore them maybe the third time, then they were pretty, uh, pretty well broken in. I only had one issue on the, my left foot um, of the Capistrano. I could feel um, the heel on part. So it was the edge of the heel in the front. So it was like up here, I could feel that um, poking the bottom of my foot, um, which it was only the left um, boot, which was uh, very uncomfortable. And so what I ended up doing was taking one of my inserts from my Rio Mercedes boot and placing it in, uh, in the boot and it took care of that. But, um, that, uh, was annoying. I don't know if anyone has had that, that issue with their Capistranos, but, um, it was not comfortable. Um, but I sorted that out. <clears throat> let, let me see what's going on in the inside here of this. Fully leather lined and oh wow that's really soft. So we have a leather insole, and then on here uh, you have this really soft leather line all the way up. Wow, that's really nice. Um, I don't really have enough light to get in there, but just uh, I cannot wait to wear these. These are just so good looking. Uh, these are made in Spain. Um, uh, handmade in Spain, um, as uh, as you may know, um, man, and the smell is just amazing. I just love these. Okay, so what I want to do is just did a closer look, so you can see some of the texture on uh, on the boot here. So let's get a closer look at that. So as you can see here, some of this beautiful texture on uh, that vamp there, that you know that once you start to break it in. It's just uh, this cognac leather is just going to patina so nicely. And then uh, you have the, the Ranch Road logo here, uh, which is a nice touch on uh, the heel there. And then let's take a look at the stitching that's going on uh, this shaft. It's just so well done. My goodness. Look at that. And then up here on the pull straps, you have some beautiful uh, stitching going on here as well, which is uh, really nice. And I don't know if we can see inside, I uh, don't have enough light going on, but uh, let's see, I'll show you the other boot as well. This cognac color is gonna look really nice with uh, some selvage denim for sure. And you can see just with my shirt, against my shirt, how nice that looks, this sh chambray shirt that I'm wearing. Um, but, and I will do a detailed look at the, uh, the sole with that rubber. Um. So here is a close up look of the leather sole with the rubber inlay. And then you have, uh, do you have lemon one packing? Yeah, I forgot to mention. So you have, uh, if you look, you have the ranch road and you can see the, the pegging going on on the sole there that I forgot to mention, um, which was really nice. And then here's the heel with that rubber for the comfort. Yeah, just gorgeous all around boot that I'm very excited to style. And I know that I'm going to get tons of compliments on this um, in the city. I just know it. These are perfect for spring, summer um, with this beautiful detailing on the, uh, on the shaft. And uh, yeah. Great job, Ranch Road. Really good job. I can't wait to put these on. All right, let's do the on feet.
Road Apache in Cognac. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, be a boot. See you guys next time. But not in Colorado, in New York City. All right, so um, we are back from Colorado. It was an absolutely wonderful trip. Um, first off, I have to say Colorado, those, I, I, there are some viewers who watch me from Colorado. You have a, an absolutely beautiful state. Folks are very friendly, extremely friendly. Um, and I imagine because they live in such a nice state, they have so many reasons to be friendly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a follow-up about the Ranch Road boots that I wore. So I took, uh, well, let's talk about what I'm wearing right now. On my feet right now, I have the Rio of Mercedes uh, in the green Mustang. Um, that's what I'm wearing on feet right now. So, here's a follow-up to the ranch road now that I'm back from uh, Colorado. And so when I, um, these are brand new when I took them out for the trip. And they definitely got their share of wear. And they still have some of the uh, ranch dust on them and dirt. Um, come a little closer, we'll take a look. And you'll see, um, what I'm talking about here and you see the scratches and things like that from going through brush on a horse uh, I think they held up quite and they look at I think they look absolutely gorgeous now they got some nice creases on there uh, you can see that that sole here got some wear on it and basically uh, look at that look at these things they're just looking gorgeous right now you got this a bit of this uh, on the shaft kind of wearing it out a bit um, this is what you know the boots should look like and this is they held up really nicely and I have to tell you that they're extremely comfortable now um, to wear all right so um, I ended up taking two pairs of boots uh, on the trip I took uh, a pair of real Mercedes ropers in rough out and I wore those on the first ride which I'm glad I did because we went through a lot of brush and so uh, a lot of the sticks were just scraping off of on the boot and basically rough out is the best for that because it just you, you, it doesn't show up like this like you'll see on here on, on, a, on the smooth surface and then for the next two rides I wore these um, and um, the second day on the ride the Wrangler asked me she said uh, what kind of boots are you wearing because I asked her about her boots and she was wearing a pair of vintage and then another Wrangler was wearing a pair of Fry Western boots um, and she asked me about what I was wearing on the second uh, ride. And I said, oh, these are Ranch Road. And uh, she really liked them. And so she said she was gonna check them out and possibly uh, pick up a pair for herself to ride. Uh, so it's nice when you get a compliment from a, a Wrangler who's on a horseback pretty much every day asking you about uh, the boots you're wearing and liking the boots you're wearing. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty high compliment. Um, and then when I wasn't riding and we were just about town going out, I wore the Rio of Mercedes Ropers uh, down in Taos, uh, New Mexico for like day to day. Uh, going to dinner, I wore the Ropers, but for riding and being on the ranch and at the corral, um, I wore these and these were uh, absolutely perfect for that. So um, that's the follow-up. Uh, the Ranch Road uh, Apache boots and cognac. And, um, Hope you guys enjoyed it and some of the photos from the uh, trip to Colorado. We'll see you guys next time with uh, more boots.